It's scary to think that the germ that causes many kinds of bacterial meningitis, the so-called meningococcal germ, actually lives harmlessly in the nose and throat of up to one in four of us without us knowing it. And many of us will never know. Fortunately, our immune system usually does a really good job of stopping it from getting any deeper into our bodies. But occasionally, that germ can sneak past our immune system and invade deep into the body where it can cause meningitis and meningococcal blood poisoning. Now, if your immune system isn't working really well, it's more likely to happen. So babies whose immune system is immature, older people whose immune system is waning, people with long-term conditions like diabetes, and anyone with blood cancer or who's having cancer treatment that affects their immune system are more at risk. You're also more at risk if you live in very close contact, which is one of the reasons we think university students are more likely to get it. The good news is that for meningitis, several forms, and for strep pneumonia, which can also cause meningitis, there are immunisations available free on the NHS for babies and for over 65s.